Hello everyone, great to see you all again today. So today we're going to be briefly looking at P-E-E. -E. Hmm. Some of you be wondering what does P-E-E -E stand for? Well, we're going to get straight into that now, right? So when you write your essays, always remember that you need an introduction, your main body and conclusion, right? So just a quick uh, recap here. So your introduction, your introducing to the reader what your essay is all about right you need to tell the reader what you're going to be discussing or arguing in your essay obviously then we have the main body all right the main body this is where your main discussion is going to be and then your conclusion is where you're summarizing the main points of your essay you're not bringing in new information just recapping what you have already mentioned the main points now P-E-E -E is what you use for the main body. This is about your paragraphs, right? How to structure your paragraphs. So what does P stand for? Well, P stands for point, okay? So at the beginning of your paragraph, don't forget you need to have a topic sentence. You need to tell the reader what your paragraph's going to be about, okay? You need to tell the reader what points are you going to be discussing all right it's always recommended maybe one point per paragraph right so you want to tell the reader exactly what you're going to be discussing in the paragraph below okay so that's what we mean by p4 points now we have e our first e okay and that's for evidence evidence what do we need evidence for well evidence makes your argument stronger all right so e is for evidence so let's say you're uh, discussing about social media, the negative impact of social media. If you have an opinion that it is a bad thing, social media, you need to back that up with evidence. You can't just say that, right? You need to make your argument as strong as possible and you back that up with evidence. For example, maybe quotations from professionals or even you can use uh, data or statistics from maybe scientists or mathematicians anything you can find that will make your argument stronger okay so e is for evidence you can't just say something you need to back it up with strong evidence so that's what we mean by e and the second e stands for explanation right so you want to explain and develop what you are saying all right and you want to link this back to uh, your original uh, question that you're kind of trying to trying to answer right so don't forget to develop what you're saying and explain what you want uh, in your paragraph that's really important so P E E let's review so P obviously stands for points tell the reader what you're going to be discussing or arguing in your paragraph so they have an idea of exactly what to expect it makes it easy for them to follow what you are saying e for evidence back up whatever you are saying with evidence make it as strong as possible right okay and then explanation and develop develop your point okay that's what we mean by the second e there okay everyone so uh recommend you use this uh, method PEE -E, for your paragraph writing as always take care and stay awesome